I uh, just want to uh, reiterate and thanking the fans for uh, making the senior day uh, something special to have that many uh, fans out there in that situation and for so many of them to stay behind and to celebrate the senior class, the 2018 class and everything they accomplished uh, this year I thought was really special and, I, and, I, and uh, I thank them from the bottom of my heart. Questions? Mark, I'm like you. I've ne I've done it one time, and it's it's. Uh, I can't tell you it's going to be exactly the same. I had a situation uh, at UCLA when we played Florida State when Bobby Bowden was still there, and we were in a bowl game, and we played in Giant Stadium in San Francisco. Uh, it was a little bit unique because both football teams were on the same side. We were actually we had zero to fifty, and they had zero to fifty, and there was special allotments for. Uh, changes and stuff and when the ball was right on the 50 you could actually hear us calling plays and hear them calling plays so it was really weird but uh, I'm not quite sure how they're going to do it but I'm sure it'll be fair and and both teams will play. We're going to we're going to act like uh, good Marines and we'll just just adjust and improvise. Is this like every other game, Syracuse, Notre Dame, Yankee Stadium, with everything that's on the line? I don't see this like one of the biggest games since 2001. I mean, I think about the Virginia Tech game being a conference game two years ago, Clemson being a conference game uh, one year ago, Clemson game being a conference game this year. How valuable is the Pitt game? Uh, to me, this is like a freebie. We're 4-0 in the second part of our season. We have a non-conference opponent, and we're playing them. And it doesn't affect our conference standings, but it does affect our overall record. So I look at this one a little bit differently than a conference game. Sure. Josh? I was curious about your thoughts overall on playing in like a baseball park instead of playing in a football stadium. I know people just kind of have different thoughts on playing in separate venues instead of playing in a college football. You know, when I grew up, we grew up playing on the front lawns of junior high schools and high schools, parks, played in the street you know, with cars parked there. You know, if you get two really good teams that are motivated, they'll really play anywhere. So as long as it's not concrete and it's grass, yeah, I'm okay. I think the team will be all right. I didn't know you mentioned that you haven't sort of started this week yet, but what you've seen about Notre Dame, I mean, obviously they're such a great team, number three in the polls and whatnot, but what you've seen from them so far that makes them such a dangerous team? The coaches have started this week. The players just okay. haven't started this week. I've been up since three. We've started this week. Um, they're solid. You know, I've been looking for a hole, looking for a weakness, looking for a chink. They are extremely solid. They, they're good with whichever quarterback plays. Their defense is doing really, really well. The, their new coordinator, Clark Lee, I believe, used to work here. And uh, I, met, I knew him when he was at UCLA, when he was one of our graduate assistants at UCLA before he became full-time. So he's doing a fabulous job with uh, that defense that uh, Elko handed down to him, who's now at Texas A&M, which both of them started at uh, Wake Forest the first year we played them. So I have some knowledge of it, but these guys, the, 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 I don't use that word. The players that they are playing with on defense are really, really good. They're really, really long, and they, they have a really, really good scheme. So it's, it's the main reason why uh, I'm sure that a lot of teams have had a lot of difficulty scoring points on those guys. And then the offense is so good that you're trying to match suit with them, and then before you know it, you know, you're behind, and then the floodgates open, and then you know, the game's over. So you've got to kind of find a way to see if you can get it into the uh, second half and get into the third and fourth quarter and make it a tight game. Uh, I think they've been playing really loose, but they've normally had leads and comfortable leads, and, and so their players could play loose. 